Tony Blair's main task during his visit is related to the great expectations it has raised. Good morning. The quartet's new envoy to the Middle East landed Monday and has already held a number of diplomatic meetings. He started off his morning with a meeting with an old friend, President Shimon Peres. So delighted to see you. <laughs> I'm so I'm delighted to see you. Really. Congratulations. Thank you very much indeed and congratulations to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. No, it's fantastic to see you. You're looking so well. And... Well, I prepared myself for this visit. <laughs> But don't let the smiles mislead you. Blair is here mainly to assist the Palestinians so they can construct an independent entity with functioning institutions, and only then will the next steps be discussed. It will take a while. This initial visit is a chance to, to listen, to learn, and to reflect. And there will be a time when um, the many questions that are very obvious um, should be answered, but I feel that this is not the moment. From Jerusalem, the envoy continued to Ramallah, where the bulk of his work lies. Actually, I've had some, I've had some interesting uh, talks with this. On Monday, he met the foreign and defense ministers and finished off Tuesday with a meeting with the prime minister. Olmert's aides lowered expectations as well and said that if the quartet envoy's name weren't Tony Blair, the visit wouldn't interest anyone. The point is that they know as well that if Blair chooses to strengthen the Palestinian government in Ramallah, he may make demands to the government in Jerusalem. In any case, the visit ends the way it began, with no real news, but no worries, Tony Blair isn't going anywhere.